Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. This week, the Queensland Labor Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has floated her most desperate thought bubble yet, an unfunded inland highway between Labor's marginal seats in the north and the southern border. The federal government is already investing more than $10 billion in improvements to the existing Bruce Highway. The state government is contributing just 20 per cent, okay, as per our funding agreement. But which one of these desperately needed upgrades to the Bruce Highway will Queensland Labor sacrifice to pay for their new Thought Bubble Highway? Which part of the Bruce will have its extra lane taken away? Which intersection won't be made safe? A pie-in-the-sky new highway 500 kilometres west of the coast will be no comfort to my constituents who spend hours in grinding traffic on the road into Brisbane, nor the millions who use the Bruce Highway now. It won't be good news for the thousands of local tourists and their operators whose visitors vow never to return to the sunny coast because they can't get home. Traffic is at a standstill now on existing state government roads in my region, like Caloundra Road, Nicolan Way and Kiwana Way. We need urgent investment now in roads people actually use, not a grandiose new multi-billion dollar unfunded white elephant. Queensland Labor government will say anything, they'll do anything to clutch onto power while showing nothing but contempt for the people of South East Queensland. Order, and I call the member for Greenway.